Now, here's Andrew Rogers to the half-back line. Hooper in front. Punches it on. He was looking for Bearstow. Bearstow's got a couple to beat. It's socket off the ground. McAdam versus Steve Hocking. Look at the pace of McAdam. McAdam about. Oh, was he tripped? No. A guy calls play on Gilbert McAdam. Races in the goal. And fires in a magnificent kick for a goal. The apple in this opening quarter. Oh, well, there's another shocking kick. He's OK. And it's gone straight to Robert Harvey. So Geelong's disposal at the moment leaves a lot to be desired. Centre wing goes to low. Stoneham with a run at him. Greg's handball, very good. Winmar Coglin kicks the goal, does he? Yes. Well, they've waited a long time and they've got the start they wanted. It's Frank Coughlin. The bounce back in the centre. Geelong will desperately want to get this out, but they can't because Harvey goes forward again. It's kicked forward by Vitovic. Here's a chance for Dean Rice. Lockett versus Rogers. Oh, look at the speed for Lockett. What a fantastic mark. Well, that's one thing you cannot do on Lockett is play him body on body because he is just too big and too strong. As we saw on that occasion, Rogers 188 centimetres and Lockett 190, not much in height. But the weight difference is uh, sizeable. Now, you'll have to get a couple of metres behind and just try and jump one, he, Bernie. Exactly, Pete. As Lockett from 20 metres for St Kilda's third goal. What a start. The champion full forward, he's hooked it. No, he's got it. Toad might he be a pretty uh, worried man at the moment. Doesn't normally show a lot of emotion, Malcolm. He's been through the oh. more dangerous play. This could be costly. Spencer ducks and weaves. Here's Denham. Sean Denham races in the goal. And the Cats have kicked their boots. Sean Denham has put the lot on the board. 1-1. To St Kilda 3-3, Bernie, what a costly bounce. bounce. Had to kick in a hurry. Missed by Greg, he also got a bad bounce. Hooper taps it forward. Couch and Craven charging through with Simpson. Bairstow, who's been relatively quiet with a high one. Groundless again, the target. Getting back Grant. Off the ground by Taylor. Trapped very well by Paul. Can steady and kick a goal here. Oh, look at this for Bruns. Square. The 70s, this man. And to kick the goal. And has, and they're in front of the Cats. Well, what a turnaround. Bernie Quinlan, one mistake from Russell Morris. Denham kicks a goal, and Geelong are ignited. Yes, it's He's going out wide to Simpson. Could be dangerous. There are two St Kilda players out there, McAdam and Winmar. McAdam from 40 metres. Kicks long at goal. It swings back. It's a goal behind him couldn't see it so maybe that's the excuse for that one well there's a number 60 out there his name's Nicky Winmar he's changed his jumper Couch gee they're wearing uh, Couch very very closely here's Gilbert McAdam a very casual player with an enormous skill Morris versus Hinkley Morris places back up and there's Winmar number 60 on his back as we said Robert Harvey lock it the leader's on out he comes and he marks. 35 minutes from goal, Tony Lockett. Well, Robert Harvey's had nine kicks and six handballs. And the champion full forward, Tony Lockett, kicks it goal and he puts it through. There he is, a late inclusion, only a youngster. He'll be pretty nervous. Bit of itch again. Hamlet punches it, but straight to Newport. This is Nicky Winmar, the long bomb. Oh, danger here because Lockett is there. Oh, look at that for a mark. Oh, what a great mark by the champ. Too big and too strong. Lee Lockett going for his fourth. And more importantly, a chance to give a good little lead to St Kilda. He's put it right through the middle. Four goals. Three Geelong players here. He had to put his body in. He did just that and hurt the free kick. He's had a great game. Craig Devonport. On to Dean Rice. The St Kilda running players doing very well. Here's Lockett. Was he held? Umpire calls play on, but he's got it. Tony Lockett. Oh, what can this man do? He is brilliant. Tony Lockett has 
kicked his fifth. St Kilda, 8-6 for 5-5. Squares it. Low the target. Stoneham with him. Not paid. Harvey. Paul. Dean Gregg misses it. Newport. Squares it to Winmar. And Winmar's away and kicks it to Lockett. And he takes it on the way. Oh, this is a celebration. Lockett's playing superb. Lockett knows exactly where to go. He went straight down that centre corridor. Spencer in front. Tony Lockett just judged it beautifully. Well, you've really got to go back to 1989 and Gary Ablett to have seen a performance like this in a major round. Lockett's dominating this game now. Well, I hate to say it, uh, Bruce, but they will probably just have to move Stoneham. He, he's doing well on low, but no one else but Stoneham could stop him, I don't think. Well, 10th kick coming up. The champ's taken seven marks. He's kicked five goals, three. And he's lining up for number six from... 45 metres out. Drop punt as always. Straight through the middle. Six to lock it. And Bernie, this lead is becoming very important now at 9-6 to five goals five. Yeah, it certainly is, Bruce. A 25-point advantage. Loose men there. Now he's going to do it. He's executed the kick fairly well and he's found Hinkley. To Stoneham. Stoneham can hold his head up high. He's done well on low. Stoneham to the half forward line. Players set themselves. Oh, that is a good mark. Not paid. Oh, that was a mark. Gary hopping on the left foot. Brownless. Oh, Billy Brownless flies. Denham takes it off the pack. Sean Denham into an open goal. Kicks and goals. Denham can, will nowhere near be as good as the other players. The ball to the half-back line now. Malakalis couldn't take it. Gary Hocking really starting to exert an influence. Here's Andrew Hughes. The chip passes on. Look at this. Geelong are back in business because Brownless is marked 40 metres from goal directly in front and kicking for goal number five. Well, here's the kick. And it's another one. Five goals to Brownless. Oh, would you believe it? Geelong have hit the front by one point. It's truly been a game of the full forwards, hasn't it? Billy Brown has five goals for Geelong, and Tony Lockett six goals for St Kilda. As we see this mark again, a great lead by Billy Brownless. He read the play beautifully. He saw what was happening up the field, and Andrew Hughes, the Geelong captain, delivering it right on Billy's chest. Crowd roaring here, the Cats by a point. 62 to 61, Hooper with a big thumb. Hughes got a good bounce. Hockey, Stephen, not a good handball. Winmar, Bearstow, well played. With strength, Harding and Brownless. Harding in the front, Brownless caught the handball. Harding, Hocking, Couch, they're everywhere. Hockey again, right foot snap, is that another one? It is. 10-8 to 9-7, and Bernie, gee, Hocking has made a difference here. Oh, look, he's a... The Cats by seven points. What can St Kilda do? They've got to stem the flow, because Geelong have been getting it out of the centre. Here's their chance. Forley to Winmar. The long kick, Lockett, and Spencer. Sp Lockett, a great mark. He's too good. Too big, too strong, too talented. Too everything, Pete, isn't he? He's just... Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Tony Lockett. There's a replay again. It looks as if Spencer was in reasonable position to be able to spoil that ball. Uh, just Tony Lockett's bulk able to keep him out. Well, a magnificent game of football, this. This is finals football. Another move happening Stewie at the moment, Lowe. Pete. Stewie Lowe going down to the back line. Looks like he's going to full back. Tony Lockett gets and killed her back in it. He's kicked six. St Kilda champ has got Bruce 25 to Geelong and 13 to St Kilda touched Ablett with one hand Gary Hocking sweeps a handball wildly peek it well played left foot lock it again he'll take it with eight Lockett's got seven. 
Low drop punt. Eight to lock it. The Saints in front. Brownless, if he kicks it now, there's Paul Couch, who's been tagged by this little bloke all day, Danny Craven. Now, the short one is on. It's a shocking kick. And that ball should have been kicked 30 seconds ago down to Brownless, who was one out. And now Winmar will take the kick from half back. But well done by Nicky Winmar to jump in there and fill up the gap. Drop punt. Centre wing, Coglin and Hinkley. Hinkley went early, got the thump away. Malakalis, now Craven, sweeps the handball to Peekman. Peekman to Coglin. They're running the Saints. Lock it. Over the top, Stoneham. Lock it. Taps it beautifully for Nixon. Is it taps or is it a goal? It's a goal. Well, the replay might tell the story here. 12-7 to 10-9. But uh, a vital three and a half minutes against Collingwood just before half time the other week. Geelong got right on top with three or four quick goals. Rice goes early, runs, peeking around the body, centre wing, bouncing football. Well played, Greg. Craven got a bad bounce. Couch gave it away. Greg again with some strength. McAdam half follies it, plays it on, sweeps it to Winmar. How many times have they done that? Lock it, the target again. Winmar gives him a chance and he takes it, lock it. He's kicked 126 goals this season and this is his 17th match. It's an awesome performance. Drop punt, great looking kick off the boot. He's done it. The man for the big occasion. 13-8 to 12-10. Lockett's kicked his ninth, and the Saints are back in front. Three men between them five times have kicked 11 goals in final, so Lockett's getting into that rarefied atmosphere. Here's Gary Hocking. Brownless, Frawley hanging on, but played it well. Brownless goes to ground, Hamble counts with a chance to go. Left foot, it's close, it's there! The Brownlow medalist from two years ago has put the Cats in front by a goal. What a difference, Bernie, in this quarter. 11 goals between the two teams in the third quarter and just one in this quarter. Well, that's when you really expect it to loosen up a little bit, the pressure, Bruce, and uh, sides to kick a couple of easy goals, but it hasn't happened this way in the final quarter. Greg to McAdam, run down by Wills, still McAdam. Shells a dummy, the handball, Lamb, Wills. To the centre, Neil and Morris. Morris in the front spot over the back. Gary Hocking, it sits. Goes for goal. Brownless, he'll take it. Kick seven, Brownless. Yes, well, rather fortunate the ball spilled out the back there to uh, Gary Hocking, but Gary Hocking in the second half has been magnificent. He's just getting away from Tim Pekin. Coming up for goal number eight, Billy Brownless. This to put the Cats 13 points in front. He's done it. Three of them diving in there. And there's a siren. Well, it was one of the great matches. And the Cats have won by seven points. Winmar played his heart out. Malcolm Blight went through some tough times here today. Danny Frawley, 28 today, leading the Saints for the first time in a finals match. Gary Ablett, a match he'd rather forget, I think, Tony Lockett, who was magnificent with nine goals. Devonport can hardly lift himself. And look at Frawley's face, it says it all.